Good morning, guys. Let's just address the elephant in the room straight away. I sound just so bad. Like, I've been ill for the past week. I feel like everyone has been ill. I thought I would just bring you along on my day because I actually feel so much better than I sound. Like, this week I've literally been wiped out, like, on the sofa every day. But I'm up and about today. I'm actually going to get my hair done, hence why she looks like she needs a little bit of TLC right now. Like, not looking the best like i said i have a hair appointment today and that's pretty much the only thing i am going out for but i have loads of bits to do around the house like wrapping um i just want to get a little bit more organized for christmas so i thought i'd pick you up and bring you along on my day today it just feels nice to like want to do something again i've honestly been good for nothing like it's been so bad let me know in the comments if you've had this weird illness that's been going around because like i say it feels like literally everybody has had it but anyway i'm in a little bit of a rush so i'm gonna jump in the shower and then I'll be on my way to my hair appointment. I have just pulled up at my hair appointment. I am like 10 minutes early, so I'm just gonna sit in the car for a sec because George actually has someone in at the moment. Um, but yeah, I just thought we needed a little bit of a catch up. Like I said, I probably don't sound the best today. I have thrown a bit of makeup on and straightened my hair a bit, so I look a little bit more presentable at least. But how are we all? I feel like everyone has been ill at the moment. Like, it's all I've seen on social media. All my friends have been ill. Like, it's literally going around everywhere. And this has wiped me out. Like, usually I just try and carry on because I feel like I feel more ill when I just stop. So I try and, like, trick my mind that I'm not ill. Everything's fine and I carry on working and stuff. But I have literally been, like, parallel on the sofa, not moving. I've had like 10 naps every single day. Like I have not been okay, but I do feel so much better and I do feel better for like getting up and out. Christmas is so soon. Like as I'm filming this, we are in the week of Christmas or as you guys are seeing it as well, it's probably a couple of days till Christmas, which is insane. I'm really excited for it this year. What are your plans for Christmas? Please let me know in the comments because I love hearing other people's plans. Me and Brad have hosted for the last two years when we lived in our other house we had both families over and it was like so nice to host have everyone all together we didn't have to like split our time at christmas and this year we just obviously don't have the space for that and hosting is stressful like it can be a lot and props to all the parents out there that host like every single year when we were kids like i don't know how mom and dad did it with all our family around like it is a lot so we're having a break this year and we're actually going to mum and dad's which will be super super nice my brother and his girlfriend have other plans i think with her family we are going to be seeing them on boxing day i believe or i think we're spending boxing day with brad's family i honestly haven't got a clue like i should be organized at this point but i'm literally just not um i've literally just finished my christmas shopping i started wrapping the presents last night like we are getting somewhere but i do feel a little bit unorganized this year i also don't feel crazy Christmassy, which makes me really upset i feel like i've just not had the time to do loads of festive things yet so i'm gonna try and do a load of little bits this week like i actually might bake some gingerbreads in this video because i haven't done that also why is my camera so dirty <laughs> yeah i usually bake gingerbreads every single year and i haven't made any yet so i'm gonna get some ingredients on the way home and we can do a little baking section of today's vlog which would be very cute and yeah i just need to do some more like christmasy fun things i've not gone to winter wonderland this year but i've heard very mixed things about it so yeah sad we didn't go but also feel like i haven't really missed out also actually i think we might be going after christmas so i haven't missed out i think there's a group of us that are gonna go and do a little like night stay in london um and do some christmasy things after christmas before new year so that will be fun anyway why i'm telling you my whole life story i don't know but they are my plans for christmas um new year's eve we have a fun little night booked a local pub to us we're going to the gunton arms which is such a nice pub like if you're in the norfolk area you will know they do the most incredible food but they have like a christmas or new year's party going on so we've all booked to go to that which would be really nice um but yeah that's my christmas plans i will obviously be bringing you guys along on some of them i'm sure i'll vlog our trip to london and maybe little bits of new year and stuff so you will see but obviously i'll be posting all my stories and everything i can't wait to just get back to social media like i've been so out of touch for the last four days um but anyway today right now i need to head into my hair appointment i don't really know what i'm gonna do because obviously i did go darker last time and i do like the darker but i also really like the light so i think i'm gonna do a bit of an in-between and go like caramel that's the vibe i'm going for i need to find some pictures because george is always like what do you want and i'm like i don't know do what you want to do <laughs> so everyone that always asks me like what i asked the hairdresser for and things like that 
I honestly haven't got a clue. I will ask Georgia while we're in there and she can explain what she's doing today because I'm the worst person to ask. Anyway, she's just texted me to say she's ready, so I'm gonna head in. Also, I have my little Gucci bag with me. I'm so obsessed with this. If you saw my stories from Milan or Georgia's second Milan vlog, you'll know that I picked this up at like, it was actually like a flea market. Like there's a area of Milan called Navilli, I think. And it's basically where the canals are and they had a market on a Sunday and this woman, I've never in my life seen so many designer bags like she had an addiction. They were all hers, like she was clearing them all out. She must have been collecting them over years. She had like Louis bags from like 1980, 1960. They were all just loads of like vintage designs. And I picked up this little Gucci one, which I am so obsessed with. This is the front and I do like it, but I'm not like as obsessed with the front. I just really like the print. So I actually tend to wear this back to front like this. I'm jumping in here because I was editing this back really late last night and I sent a screenshot of the bag that I was showing you guys to Georgia and I was like, I have no idea what was wrong with us, but this is so obviously fake. Like you guys have probably watched these clips and just thought, is this girl all right? Like the bag is so fake. Like I'm actually in shock because I swear on my life, we were both looking at it. Like Georgia has Gucci bags with a print on it and somehow we just didn't see it like lesson learn do not trust if someone says something is authentic if they don't have proof of it like I know this is such a stupid lesson to learn but I've done it once and I will never do it again like I know this bag is fake it is not a real Gucci at all which is so sad but she's still very cute I'm still going to be wearing it I'm just really annoyed that I just somehow did not spot it I swear like we are so confused it feels like we were looking at a completely different bag in Milan and now it's so obviously fake. Like I have it here and I look at it every time now and I just think I'm so dumb. Like I honestly can't get over it. Um, but yeah, just so you guys are aware, I absolutely know it's not real. And somehow I'm only just realising that when I edited this vlog back. So I'm laughing about the situation. Um, but I just wanted to throw that in here so you guys don't think, well, I was an idiot at the time, but you guys now know I am fully aware. She is not real. She seemed quite believable, so I'm hoping this is an authentic design. Yeah, that is my new little bag, but I really am gonna go in now because I don't want to make Georgia late. Um, and I will see you guys in there. Oh, she looks <coughs> insane. Hello. Hello. So we're done. <laughs> yeah, this is the final look. I look Sorry, crazy. just sorting out my crazy hair. I just looked in the mirror for a second. Oh, wow. I thought we would just check in. George had another client in, so I didn't want to yeah. whack the camera out. But, it's very um, tiny in here, isn't it? So if there is another client in, it's a bit like... Oh. She'll just be here. I'll be like, come on, hi. Hi. Introduce What's yourself. your input? <laughs> I thought we could just run through what we've done, because I always get questions about okay. what we do. And I have explained that I'm not the best at asking for specifics. No, but so Emily actually done. came in this morning, and I said, what are we doing today then? And she went, I don't know. <laughs> So, sure, I literally already said I would say that. Yeah, you actually did. <laughs> I was like, you they, always ask for your words. I'm like, I don't know. No, I don't know. Um, so normally we go through some low lights, mm -hmm. but today we are spicing it up a little bit, and we are going in with a little bit of balayage. So you've got some light pieces in here. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna check one right now. Okay, she might be green. So cut this out. No, I'm bad. joking. <laughs> Perfect. Really? Yeah. Are we, are we baked? Nearly. I'll give you another like five minutes. Okay. So yeah, I've got through some balayage pieces, like really, really subtle. I've mm -hmm. gone through like on every other section, just so you've got a really like minimal amount in there, just so it looks kind of sun-kissed. Like fresh. Yeah, because you like the lighter pieces that are already in there, so I've just added like mm -hmm. more of them. Take off a tiny bit of the end, yeah. you like it nice and long. And then we actually, a new addition, we add some layers. Yeah, that's true. That is a new yeah. addition, which I actually really like because I feel like it's... I prefer it when it's straight, when it's got layers, because yeah. it's got more... Like body. ...something to it, yeah. yeah. Just buy the Wow Colour Volume Spray. Have you, you seen it on TikTok? No. Everyone's been going wild. Is it the one it. where you drench your hair in it? No, no, no. That's it's like can spray. spray. We're back. I just ran out of storage. I'm really intrigued to try the Volume Spray. See if it works. The Colour Wow stuff is great. Yeah, yeah. Like really, Chris Abbotton really has yeah. sold that to me yeah. time and time again. So go in and say, I'd like some balayage pieces. Mm -hmm. Um, not too high up to the root and then I'd like a seven toner please and, and they'll be like wow I'm go, impressed wow you are well knowledge <laughs> do you know what I'd love it if people came in and said that really me. yeah yeah that's what I mean because it's so hard to like 
like whenever I say what do I get done, mm. it's so I'm like, what does that even mean? Yeah. When explain it. Yeah. Whereas it'd be so good for you for people to be like, I like a number seven and yeah. this, this, this. I exactly. also really like pictures. Yeah. Some hairdressers I know don't, but I, I mean I can't change a that. face. But I can change the hair. Not like a miracle, but <laughs> we can sort that. We hair. try. Yeah, I like doing your hair because it's easy. Really? Yeah, it just listens to what I tell it to. Oh great. To do. It doesn't go. Green? green. Is that what happened yeah. To yeah. Like dark forest green. I fixed yeah. it, but mistakes happen. <laughs> you know, most hairdressers, when you say a little trim, you come up with a bob. Mm. Georgia actually gives you a little trim. Yeah. So if you want someone, if you are based in Norwich, I, I mean, do she's give it a trim now. But I will leave obviously Georgia's Instagram down below if you do want to get your hair done because yeah. this is the lady behind the magic. It's me. We take about an inch off all the time, so. She needs it anyway. Like. That looks like Jack Jack's hair from Incredibles. <laughs> It's a bit sad looking. <laughs> like it really is. We use an Olaflex treatment as well, which we also do. Oh yeah, lovely. Is that everything? That is everything. Thank you, I'd love a tea now, please. We'll catch up with you when uh, Emily's in the basin with a number seven toner on. <laughs>we've just really like refreshed it obviously George just spoke you through what she has done so hopefully that all made sense but I'm obsessed it feels so nice and fresh I love new hair days like I probably won't do my hair now for a good three or four days because these curls she curls my hair with straighteners and I don't know what happens but they last so long in my hair like they just turn into really nice waves so yeah, that is my hair all complete. I am gonna head back home now and obviously see what Rad and Bonner are up to. I think he might have taken her for a walk because it's now 3 p.m. So it's actually gonna get dark in an hour. I also need to wrap some more presents. Me and Georgia are doing a little gift swap this year, which I'm really excited for, and we're gonna be filming that on Thursday. So I'm gonna finish wrapping her presents, so I'm ready for that. Um, but I think those videos will be live on Christmas Eve. We are still in the car. I have just quickly pulled over at the side of the road because I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about this car that we are currently driving. Peugeot have very kindly lent us their E2008 model, which is a fully electric car for us to test out, see what we think. And I thought I'd just update you on my thoughts. First things first, safe to say we are 100% converted to an electric car. I honestly think with the way the world is going like they are so much more efficient they're also super quick which might surprise some people but they are honestly still such a dream to drive like if you want to get off the mark quick you definitely can they obviously have the different driving modes as well so i tend to drive around in eco mode um it's obviously so much more economical as it says um and then there's like a regular driving mode and then there's the sport mode which is great for overtaking and great if you do want that kind of like fast car driving experience which brad definitely loves that setting 
thing but I do like that they have those different modes you can kind of tailor it to the way that you personally like to drive the drive itself on any mode is insanely smooth like the steering is super light this car literally glides like it's so so comfortable to be a passenger in to drive in so obviously electric cars can be quite expensive especially at the moment and i feel like this is a really reasonable price for one specifically with what you get so obviously you can upgrade these cars um with loads of different kind of mods and stuff but the model we have has the electric seats it's got all of the climate control it's got apple carplay i'll just quickly show you guys i have my maps up right now and then you've got your spotify here with all your playlists um it's really easy to use this is all touchscreen and super nice and modern which i love you can also obviously connect your phone call people it also reads out your text messages which is such a good little feature we literally get home plug it in and then just like you do your phone plug it in before you go to sleep and then when you wake up in the morning we've got a full tank of electric the only time we do need to think about it a little bit more is if we're planning a trip down to london and um, we just make a stop on the way so we'll plan our route a little bit better and stop at a starbucks that might have like a super fast charger outside grab a coffee and by the time you come back out you've got like an extra 100 miles in the tank so this specific e2008 is so good for city driving like i say round town running errands type of journeys it's just so quick and easy for things like that also i just wanted to mention obviously we make trips to london quite often and the the best thing about this car is that the congestion charge is completely exempt because obviously it's fully electric so definitely worth looking into i will leave all of the information linked down below in the description if you do want to check out this particular model that we have but as i said in my last video a huge thank you to Peugeot for sending this little model over to us to try out we honestly love it it is now the next day my day didn't really go to plan yesterday i got home and i ended up just organizing all of my clothes, there was just stuff all over the house because Brad had been sorting things out all day. So I literally just spent my evening sorting out the rest of my wardrobe. And I didn't think it was that interesting. So that is finally done. This room is looking clear again. There was honestly stuff everywhere. But we are actually just about to head into the city to do some last minute Christmas shopping and get some lunch with our friends Matt and Georgia. So you obviously saw Georgia yesterday. We're going with her and her partner for some food, which will be really nice. But yeah, I've just got ready. I'm literally just wearing this little Zara jumper dress, which I showed you guys recently. And then these boots are from, I saw it first, I think. Um, they're kind of uncomfy, I won't lie. I need to put some more socks on because I can feel them rubbing already. And I've not even left the house, so I'm going to sort that out. But I am just going to pair it with my trench coat that I picked up really recently from Pretty Little Thing. This is the one that is, like, quilted inside, so I'm hoping it's going to keep me warmer. And then I've got my Gucci bag, which I showed you guys yesterday. So, yeah. Cute. This is honestly so nice, and it keeps you so much warmer because of the quilting. I'll obviously link all of these items down below in case you like the look of anything. But that... This is my outfit for the day. I also need to take that pot of gum out of here because it's the most annoying thing. But yeah, here is my outfit. Very simple, but still kind of cute. So that is our plan for today. I'm just going to run downstairs now and throw some makeup on quick. Um, I still sound a bit rough, but I feel so much better today. Like honestly, 10 times better. So we're going to head into the city. Like I say, we're going to drop Bonnie home on our way in. And then on the way back from the city, I am going to pick up some stuff to make some gingerbread men because I really want to do that today. And I didn't get a chance in the end last night. So that is our plan. I'll bring you guys along with us. She's had a lovely spot of Italian food and that we felt like we were back so in Italy. Italy. I've done that so many times. <laughs> I'm struggling with her presence present. It's not even mine, it's Brad's, but the boys have just gone shopping for us. Yeah, so we've gone separate ways. We're confused though, because what are we both getting then? Like yeah, the boys getting something for us? Yeah, yeah. What are they getting? I have no idea. I'm intrigued. But we're clearly going to get the same presents yeah. because they've gone together. I was really annoyed that I got stuck with Emily because I need to finish her Christmas shopping. I was like, you can't come with me. in there. <laughs> I just ran in the opposite direction. But I have a funny feeling. Don't say it because if it is. is what it is, then I can't hide it <laughs> on my face. <laughs> we are just strolling around now. Like, yeah. we need to kill a bit of time before the boys I are I want to go in WH Smith for Amelia. 
Perfect. Okay. Although. When's this going on? I'm going to have her tonight, it's fine. Okay, see you. Yeah, we've been, I haven't really spoken to you guys today, but we've just been strolling around. Brad got his hair cut. Um, and that's literally been it. Like, it's been very chill, but quite nice. I feel quite Christmassy now. Do you? I feel like because you're done with work, Matt's done with yeah. work, Brad's like finally winding everything down. Like, I don't know, it feels like we can chill now. We can chill. Which is nice. I do feel very Christmassy. I do think it's because I have finished work. Yeah, that's what I mean. And like, I've started to get like Christmas presents and like cards given to me now. Yeah. A bottle of bay leaves, which was lovely for one of my clients. Oh, oh damn it, I should have bought you things. It's like your final day at work. Yeah, how rude. Sorry about that. You didn't give me a tip. Sorry, right, I get 10 <laughs> presents tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing our gift swap tomorrow. So yes. I'm very excited. So I was like, we need to finish that or I need to finish that. I need to wrap everything. I just knocked that guy out of the bag. Here we go. So we are now back home as you guys can see and I'm just gonna do a couple of last minute wrapping bits because like I said me and Georgia are filming our gift swap videos tomorrow and a few bits arrived in the post i actually ordered this adenola stuff literally like 48 hours ago i think and it arrived within 24 hours so that was really good because i was thinking these things weren't going to come until like new year um but i just picked up she will have got her presents by the time you see this vlog so i grabbed her the multi pack of socks i live in these whether it's for the gym or just in general they are the best socks they're a little bit spenny for socks but i honestly think they're worth it um, so I got those and then I also got this sports bra. You will see these things better in the guess what video if you want to see them in detail. But she basically has the dark like forest green set. I know she's got the leggings and one of the sports bras. But I got her like a different variation of um, the tops to go with that set. And then also just their black basic um, like tight tee. I think she was trying to get her hands on one for ages, but they sell out really quick. So I managed to get one and that's what I picked up from Adenola. And then I literally just got, obviously I've got her other presents as well, but these are just the last minute bits that I need to wrap. Um, I bought this little earring set from G&K Jewelry, I think it's called, Grace and Kin. That's what it's called. I will link them down below because it was such a nice little brand. And I'm actually gonna pop a picture on screen of the earrings that I've got her because these are really nice to gift wrap. Like I didn't pay for this or anything. They're just in this really gorgeous envelope. So I don't want to undo it. But um, basically last year, I think it was around Christmas time as well. It's when we went to London and went to Winter Wonderland and stuff. Me and Georgia got some matching like welded bracelets from Astrid and Miu. Mine always gets tangled in my other bracelets. And also collects fluff from my jumper which is really annoying these are the tiny little bracelets that we got and while we were there i think i bought some earrings and georgia bought some as well and they moved house not long after and she got like these really cute little green like diamond hoops like they were tiny and she lost them in the move and we literally like don't know where they've gone like they literally disappeared so i bought her some from grace and kin this jewelry brand that i just mentioned and they're very similar. I don't think they're exactly the same, but they are that like emerald green. So I saw those and I thought I'd replace the ones that she had lost. So I'm just gonna wrap those. All of the other ones are done. And um, we've just picked up some like sushi bits for some dinner this evening. We did obviously go out for a late lunch. So I'm full of pasta right now and burrata. I'm in a very good mood. Like I feel very happy. Obviously still don't feel 100% and I kind of have the energy to do things. And then as soon as I get home, I just crash. So that is probably what this evening is gonna look like, but Anyway, I'm gonna grab my wrapping stuff. One thing I do wanna mention is this little thing. This is just sellotape, but it's honestly revolutionary when it comes to wrapping presents. It makes it so easy. You basically put it on your hand like this. It has like these little holders on the bottom and it just makes it so simple to wrap presents. Like you can literally just take bits off, stick it down, like honestly 10 out of 10. I'm gonna link this down below because I feel like you might have done all your Christmas wrapping by now, but you need this in your life. Like it makes wrapping presents so, so easy. <laughs>
that is the last of George's presents wrapped. I'm going to pop them under the tree. I've really not gone all out with wrapping this year. I literally just picked this up from B&M, but it's actually quite nice wrapping, like this sage one and then the little white design. They're both from B&M. Um, usually I have like ribbons and bows and all sorts, but literally this year I've just written everyone's initials on all of the presents, which I feel so bad for, but just not at the time. I'm going to have to dig out all of George's in the morning to take over. Um, but yeah, that's all the presents around the tree. And then I have loads up here, which I'm not going to show you because I still need to wrap them. I am just jumping on to round off this vlog. I know it was a little bit of a random one. I've kind of just thrown a few clips together, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I'm so looking forward to Christmas. We obviously have one more vlog this episode, which is going to be the gift guide. I am so, so excited for you guys to see that. Like, it's honestly one of my favourite videos ever. So that will be going out very soon on Christmas Eve. And yeah, I will speak to you just after Christmas. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.